Apple just dropped the iOS 18.1 Beta 6 version just after two weeks of its release of Beta 5 version. Crazy. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Himanshu. You are watching Get Assist and in this video, we'll be talking about the key features of the iOS 18.1 Beta 6. Obviously, we'll be talking about the drawbacks of it and the future possibilities of the release of the full-fledged version. So, let's get started. Well, we have made a video on the iOS 18.1 Beta 5 version. If you haven't watched it yet, you can access it from here. We saw improvements in performance, tweaks in widgets and some privacy features. However, there were still some issues, especially with the battery drainage and the app compatibility. Now, what's new in the Beta 6? Enhanced performance. One of the biggest updates in the Beta 6 is the further performance optimization. Apple has clearly been working hard to improve the smoothness and stability. Apps now feel even snappier and multitasking seems smoother compared to Beta 5. Bugs fixed. A lot of bugs which were featuring in the Beta 5 versions now have been fixed. Almost they are fixed. Battery life. Battery life is now being definitely improved but it's not up to the mark yet. It has some loopholes. The battery is still draining but it's better than the Beta 5 version. We are seeing a moderate gains, but the fast battery drain during the heavy task still hasn't been fully fixed. New features. The Beta 6 has bring some new features with it. Also brings refinement to dynamic islands. Now, there are more fluid animations and certain widgets have been revamped. If you are someone who enjoys customizable UI, you'll notice these small but impactful changes. Now let's talk about the drawbacks of the iOS 18.1 Beta 6. Some of the issues are still there with the Beta 6 version. As I mentioned earlier, the battery optimization has been improved but it's not at its best till now. For anyone who uses resource intensive apps, you might still experience a quick drain. There are also some minor glitches in the specific apps, particularly third-party apps and they aren't fully optimized yet in the iOS 18.1. The future aspects. Beta 6 will now be available soon to the public in coming 2-3 weeks and in the month of October only as the rumors are calling out and possibly with even refined features and to know about it, to get more insights about it, what you need to do just subscribe to our channel and like this video for the coming updates. And if you are on the Beta 5 version, the Beta 6 version obviously comes with some better improved versions so you can easily shift from Beta 5 to Beta 6. So keep watching Get Assist and we'll update you soon.